What's up, guys? I'm Caden with Crypto Now or Never. Today, I'm back with another update on ICP. Please do me a favor and hit that like and subscribe button. Help me pump that algorithm. I'd greatly appreciate it. None of this is financial advice. Let's get into it. I have a dream. That's all I need. I'll make it up in some work and believe. Know what I want. All right, so as you guys can see, for about the last seven days, ICP has just been trading sideways. However, things could start getting a lot better. If you look at Bitcoin right now, it has absolutely skyrocketed, and we have officially gotten back above the 200-day moving average, and we have not been above this level since April 12th. So whether or not it can actually hold these levels could be huge for ICP's future. But anyways, ICP is currently trading at $12.24. Their market cap is $5.6 billion, which ranks 20th among all cryptocurrencies. So since my last ICP video, the ranking still hasn't changed. They're still 20th. And the circulating supply is $464 million out of a total supply of $518 million. Now, if you guys are looking to buy ICP, I recommend using Binance or Coinbase. I think those are the two easiest centralized exchanges to use. But we'll go ahead and hop straight into the ICP news. So this is the Definity X account. And they just posted one hour ago, investors are taking notice of the growing Bitcoin ecosystem. Hear from prominent investors on what has their attention. And this will be an X space on May 20th if you guys are interested in attending it. There definitely could be some good information. And then 18 hours ago, attention ICP community. Excited to announce half a million canister smart contracts are now deployed on ICP. In a span of just 72 days, the number of canister smart contracts deployed on ICP surged from 400 to 500k. And that right there is a massive jump. Very few projects out there are making the kind of moves that ICP is making. After seeing something like this, I do not understand how you cannot be bullish on ICP. And then they said on May 14th, POV were getting ready for the hottest blockchain event of the year. 600 signups, 50 partners, 45 speakers, 13 hubs, 9 days to go. We can't wait. And I say it all the time, but I love to see when projects like ICP attend events. It helps them get their name and technology out there. And that is especially beneficial for something like ICP, where a lot of people out there don't even understand that they use AI. And in case this is your guys' first ICP video, I'd like to show you one of their posts. So this right here, AI running on blockchain as a smart contract, only possible on ICP. Deterministic time slicing is a huge achievement. So the internet computer actually can run compu smart contract computations that span multiple blocks. And essentially what it does is it has like four logical uh, processes, which, which are actually real processes on these node machines. And, you know, it puts a smart contract onto the processor, lets it consume a certain number of cycles, internet computer equivalent of gas, and then yeah. takes it off the processor and puts another um, smart contract on. And uh, these the computations, you know, these smart contract functions that are being evoked, which transactions essentially, can be executed over multiple blocks. And so you can actually do a huge amount of computation in a single smart contract transaction. And this is a huge advance because it essentially means that the internet computer is a genuine decentralized operating system. And again, so many people out there don't understand that ICP uses AI. And I've taken many different kinds of polls on YouTube, on Twitter, and everyone is bullish on AI. Everyone out there seems to think it's the most bullish narrative. So if that turns out to be the case, that could be extremely beneficial to ICP. But now we'll hop into some macro news. So this is Watcher Guru's X account. So 25 minutes ago, Vanguard hires BlackRock's global head of ETFs as new CEO. Vanguard banned all spot Bitcoin ETFs from their platform in January. So I think a lot of you guys can see where this is headed. That was clearly a big mistake on Vanguard's part, and I think they're going to correct it. And then one hour ago, U.S. inflation falls to 3.4%. And after this news came out is when Bitcoin started to pump. Now, whether or not this is the entire reason, who knows, but I'm sure it still helped. And then 11 hours ago, El Salvador mines 474 Bitcoin worth $29 million using its volcano-fueled geothermal power plant. At this point, El Salvador is becoming one of the biggest Bitcoin supporters out there. It's awesome to see. And then 18 hours ago, GameStop stock has outperformed Bitcoin yearly returns in a single day. Now, obviously, to a lot of you guys, this isn't going to seem like a good thing, but I think it's actually hilarious. If you guys trade the meme coin market at all, you would know this has been fantastic for crypto meme coins because both GME and AMC went absolutely nuclear. And there were a lot of people who made 50 to 100x gains. So it kind of transferred over to crypto a little bit. But obviously, at the end of the day, the question is whether or not this will continue to be the case. Bitcoin has been dropping a little bit, but I could very easily see this turning around. But while we're on X, you guys should come over and give your boy a follow at Crypto Now or Never. I post on here pretty much every single day, and I'm constantly calling out opportunities that I'm seeing in the market. So I think you guys will get some very useful information. And then I also wanted to take a second to talk about my private Discord through Patreon. So at the current moment, I have three different tiers, but there are many benefits to joining my Discord. For example, this is going to give you guys closer access to me, and you guys are going to be able to track the cryptos that I'm personally buying, selling, considering buying, and even the cryptos that I currently hold. And a lot of the cryptos that we trade in here are microcap gems, less than $10 million 
and market cap. A lot of you guys out there get so excited about making 20% gains in a week. We make gains like that all the time in here. For example, we made 104% in less than a day. 610% gains in eight days. And this was a project called out by one of my community members. Shout out to Manchester. This dude's an absolute legend. 47% in one day. We made an 8x in 10 hours. But the gains just go on and on. So if this sounds like something you guys might be interested in, I have the link right here on my YouTube homepage. We are building a very strong community. I would love to have you guys in here. But now for the final part of this video, we'll get into some technical analysis. So this is ICP on the four hour time frame. Now I will say, unlike Bitcoin, ICP doesn't look near as good right now, at least for the current moment, because we haven't gotten back above all of these moving averages. The only ones we're above currently are the 21 day and the 50 day. The real test will be whether or not we can get back above the 200 day moving average. If we can, that can be extremely bullish for ICP. And at the current moment, that level's sitting at about $13.09. So it's definitely possible. It's not that far away at all. But at the current moment, the RSI is getting a little bit overbought and there's not really any divergences. And then if you look at the stochastics, it is extremely overbought. So I'm going to be honest, neither one of those are really something you want to see. Now, at the same time, does that mean we're going to crash down? No, not necessarily. There's actually a very good chance we just continue trading sideways for a little while. In fact, I wouldn't be surprised if we just straight up dropped down to about $12. That would be basically trading on this high volume node on the BRVP. And these high volume nodes typically work as magnets. And that could give the RSI and Stochastics time to start resetting, and then we could get another explosive move up. But to that same point, if Bitcoin does continue to explode, I also wouldn't be surprised if ICB just follows it. So honestly, at the current moment, I would just mainly keep your eyes on Bitcoin. So this is Bitcoin on the four hour. And as I said at the beginning of the video, we are officially back above the 200 day, unlike ICP, but this is still very important for Bitcoin. Now, in my personal opinion, the number one test for Bitcoin is going to be whether or not we can close the candle above this previous local high. And it's sitting at 64,568. If we can close back above that level, this could be extremely bullish for altcoins. And I could absolutely see a reality where altcoins start to skyrocket yet again. But we need to get back above this level. And similar to ICP, I'm not really seeing any divergences on the RSI. I think a pretty big reason we are pumping right now is because of the inflation news. Is that guaranteed? No, it's not. But it definitely couldn't hurt Bitcoin's case. So yeah, in general, in my opinion, I would just recommend watching this previous local high. See if we can close a candle on the four hour above 64,568. If we do not, honestly look for a little bit of a pullback. But in that pullback, we ideally do not want to lose the 200 day moving average. We want to see it close and we want to see it stay above this level. But as I say in every single one of my videos, macroeconomics significantly outweigh technical analysis. So just understand, crypto is still an extremely volatile asset class. Anything can happen. But that's about all. Let me know down in the comments if there are any other cryptos you'd like me to cover in the future. If you found this content valuable, please do me a favor and hit that like and subscribe button. Thank you guys for watching. Have a great rest of your day.